Well, Alan, it's incomplete because about 86% of the participants in this program received under $150,000, and that data was not released in this data release. But that means we're looking at 15% of the data, and it is painting an interesting picture of what's happening here in Detroit. The highest range in new data released by the Trump administration, businesses receiving five to $10 million in coronavirus relief. In Detroit, Crane Communications. Under the two to five million received in PPP loans, the Archdiocese of Detroit and the United Way, as well as Henry Ford Village in Dearborn, to name a few. Hospitals, car dealerships, restaurants. In all, more than 120,000 Michigan businesses receiving some type of Paycheck Protection Program loan in the $150,000 to $10 million range. COVID, like the rest of the world, came up on us um, pretty rapidly and quickly and unexpectedly. Um, we were in the middle of um, doing some renovations, expanding. Gail Zanes is a man international nonprofit in Inkster, helps impoverished, marginalized, single female head of households break the cycle of poverty through social services, a retail shop, shelter assistance, and a culinary program. We realized that we would have um, a very deep dip in our revenue streams from multiple sources. And when the loan became available, we thought that this is an opportunity for Zaman to be able to continue to serve the public in a limited capacity. And as intended, the loan was a lifeline for employees and to continue important work. It allowed Zaman the opportunity to shift our funding to where the public needed it most. So Zaman is just one example. They received about $180,000 of this loan. In full disclosure, my wife does work for the organization. We did reach out to other organizations, but they were not able to go on camera tonight. And a quick reminder that these loans, they are forgivable. As long as a business meets certain criteria, such as a certain percentage of the loan going towards payroll to help its workers. Reporting live tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.